Welcome friends, uh, in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the mode of conservative site specific recombination or the types of CSSR. Now in this case we have seen three different types, uh, one is insertion, then deletion, then inversion. So these three steps are important and these are really really simple steps. You can see the picture you will understand all. But still I am uh, explaining it to you. Now let me take a color. Okay. Now here uh, let's first talk about the insertion. If you think in all these cases we have a donor and we have a recipient. Now in this case in the very first case if we uh, think about this region this part. So this is the donor region and this is one this one is a recipient in this case. So recipient as we know will take uh, something and donor will give something now in this case the something is the gene so donor will give the gene and recipient will receive it now in this case the gene is this light colored orange region and this in this dark orange regions are the site which which is marked that this this is the start of the gene this is the end of the gene so it is the marking region and this black site are the specified site or specified locations where uh, from where this gene will be cut and from where the gene will will be uptaken right because we are talking about the site specific recombination in all these cases site specificity is really really important now in this case the recipient is also having the site specificity and also the uh, this, this donor sequence is also having that so it will cleave the sequence from these two regions and take this sequence and it will incorporate it in between this region and as a result right after that will form something like that okay so it will form this structure Okay, so if you think about these uh, genes A and B, now in this case you can find A and B in both cases and then X and Y is there as it is. Okay, so this is called the insertion because we are not deleting anything, we are not inversing anything, we are just taking a segment of the gene, we incorporate it into another gene. That's called the insertion. Now if we look, look about the second process which is called the deletion, as the name suggests we will delete some part of the gene. Suppose this is a longer gene, now yet we, need, we do not need the gene in between, that means the genes A and B, we do not need this gene A and B, we need to get rid of these genes. Now what we will do, we will cleave this part out from these two regions and we will make a, make a circular loop out of it and then we will reseal the part of the gene we need, in this case X and Y. We reseal the X and Y, we cleave A and B and uh, uh, make a circle and cleave it out. We call it the deletion as the name suggests. You can see the picture pretty clearly. Then the third type we're talking about the inversion. Now as the name suggests inversion that means we are having something like that this A and B. Now inversely uh, we inverse it in two different ways. One is uh, first inversion is like that 180 degree that means we end up with B and A and the second inversion will be another 180 degree in this direction so that will be uh, opposite A and an opposite B let me draw this is a challenge okay so that is that is it right so two inversion one is uh, left to right a 180 degree and this up to, uh, up to down or top to bottom one 180 degree so two types of inversion in this case you can see here so it will cleave from this uh, sides and then inversion then again reseal and renique all these things. So as a result what we will end up with, we will end up with the location, the varying the location of the genes. In the normal gene we are having uh, A right uh, next to X and B right next to Y but in case of this inversed uh, segment we are having uh, B instead of A next to a, next to X, right? So this is the varying proportion of inversion. So no information is lost but still the information is shuffled and it will eventually create some difference in the expression of this gene okay as we know because the small change in this gene can a, can express lethally can express devastatingly right uh, and we know that okay so but the most important thing about all in all these cases there are specified regions those are conserved and the specified regions are really important to to take any part uh, uh, inside this CSSR so it have to cleave it you need a specific side you need to join it you need a specific side so that's why they are called the site specific recombination site okay so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you